So Toyota sent me the Toyota CHR for a week to review for you guys and I've got five likes and five dislikes I'm gonna share with you right now. So in no particular order, starting with the likes, my like number one is the handling. This car handles very well for this class and a big part of that is the new platform that this is on, the uh, TNGA, Toyota New Global Architecture. And that gives this car a nice low center of gravity. It's got a wider track and it just handles really well. My like number two is the fact that Toyota Safety Sense, the TSSP, is standard. And that's standard on every trim level, no matter what you get. That'll give you the pre-collision with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with assist, automatic high beams, and full speed radar cruise control. My like number three is the styling. So this is very polarizing and I'm not necessarily a fan of how this looks. That's very subjective, but I do like the fact that Toyota kept this interesting and it looks so different than any other Toyota that you can get. Obviously the front does kind of look like the RAV4, but this looks a lot like this, the comp, or excuse me, this looks a lot like the concept that they originally came out with. And uh, it might help to keep some of the old Scion buyers around. My like number four, it has quite a few standard features, no matter what trim you get. So you get a seven inch touch screen standard in this 2018. For 2019, you can get an eight inch touch screen. For 2018, you also have a leather wheel on the base model, dual zone climate control, an automatic dimming rear view mirror. Like I said, the Toyota Safety Sense system. Plus you get bigger wheels than you might expect. Something like this, you could possibly expect like 16 inch wheels, but on 2018, you get 18 inch wheels standard. And on 2019, you get 17 inch wheels standard with the 18s available. So that's kind of cool. My like number five is the improvements that Toyota made for the 2019 CHR. So 2018 was kind of weird with the XLE and the XLE premium trim. With 2019, you get the LE, XLE, and then Limited. So it's nice they added the Limited trim for people that want leather seats and a few more features. Plus, I believe they added value overall with those trim packages because you start out the LE at a lower price, which is always a positive. Now it's time for my dislikes, also in no particular order. Starting with dislike number one is the fact that we don't have LED headlights. The base Corolla has LEDs uh, LED headlights, but this doesn't. We have LED daytime running lights, and then with the 2019 model, you'll get LED fog lights, but no actual LED headlights. My dislike number two is just the powertrain overall. So it's a two liter four cylinder, and this isn't meant to be fast, but it's definitely not fast. It's not quick at all. You really have to mash on it when you're merging on onto the interstate in traffic. There's no all wheel drive. Its fuel economy is subpar compared to some competition, so definitely some disappointments with that. Dislike number three, there's no moonroof. What's up with that? You'd think Toyota is trying to attract younger buyers with this, they would maybe give you a panoramic moonroof, which would be a lot to ask for in this price, but there's not even a basic moonroof in here. My dislike number four is the infotainment system, and this is for the 2018 model. So there's no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. They have the older version. The Entune 3.0 is coming in the 2019 CHR, but there's no upgraded sound system, um, which would be nice. It's just a six speaker system across the board. And I would expect a little bit more for younger buyers in this car. My dislike number five is the overall space. So this isn't meant to be a big car, but compared to some competition, it's really small, it's actually smaller inside the back seat and the cargo space. And I'm, I'm really looking at the Honda HRV with this, even the Mazda CX-3. This has bigger exterior proportions than the HRV, both width and length, but the HRV has more space and it's more functional. Now, obviously those were just my opinions for my five likes and dislikes with just a short period of time with this car. I wanna know what you think. Uh, leave your comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave some questions down there and please be sure to watch my full review. I do have a full review of this car. I'll put the link down below and uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.